Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I am here to present to you today my review of the Repl Replicate Amusements 1942 arcade machine, 11 inch play scale arcade machine by New Wave Toys. Just arrived today, so let's, uh, let's take a look. Yep, this thing is uh, boxed very, very well. You got a box, literally a box, and then a box. And then the retail box is in there, nice and safe and snug and wrapped in plastic and very, very nicely packaged, damage free. Just, you know, they took the time to extra box this thing. And as you can see, the outer box is a double wall box, and then you've got another single wall box inside of that. And then the decorative box is a uh, it's actually a single wall box as well. So what you're looking at here is, uh, you know, two, four layers of protection on your arcade machine. And then you got some nice foam inserts protecting the machine. Of course, you got your instruction booklet. As with all of these units, you get your, uh, your tokens, your replicate tokens. And uh, let's see what we got here in the box. Wait for this sucker for a while. All the COVID stuff is just kind of screwing everything up lately. So far as shipments and all. And uh, this one finally made its way here. And you can see it comes with an extra controller. So you can play two players. And it looks like there's some other buttons up top here. I'm not sure what these are for. I'm not really, really, really familiar with the game 1942 or 1943 for that matter. I know it's a, it's a, it's a shooting game involving an airplane and you can fly around and shoot stuff. But um, this particular model has both uh, both games, 1942 and the, um, the follow-up game, which was 1943, both on one machine. So uh, let's get this thing unpacked. All right, so it's a few hours later and I've had this thing on charge for quite some time. And I am just beside myself with the artwork on this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a low boy cabinet, um, comes with a spare controller, as I said before, and a USB cable to connect it. Um, on the back of the unit, we have um, a charge cable and we have a couple of ports for connectors back here. A couple of ports for connectors. A couple of ports for controllers back here. We have a charge port. We also have an HDMI port. Um, and if you, when you get this, this sticker will be over that HDMI port. So make sure and peel that off, uh, revealing a full size HDMI port. So you can hook this up to your TV. Um, got some real cool labels back here. You got your caution label, your danger high voltage supply label. And there's also a Capcom serial number label up at the top indicating that this is 1476 out of 5,000. Uh, pretty cool stuff. The artwork is really, really nice. I think it's a sticker, but it also takes on the wood grain. So when you look at it, you can actually see the wood grain underneath it. So that's pretty cool. It looks like it's actually painted on. So on the display side of things, uh, you've got the Capcom uh, marquee, which lights up and you have a nice LCD screen in the middle with the bezel artwork as it was from the factory. And you've got your controller, your player one, player two buttons, your uh, four-way joystick, fire and loop buttons. And then at, at the bottom here, you also have a rocker switch. This, um, this here is a rocker switch, so you can press up to rocker uh, to add credits and press down on the rocker to get into the menu. The menu allows you to access different features and also allows you to switch between 1942 and 1943, which is the other game that this comes with. So both versions are the, of the game are available. Uh, if you plug this charge cable in, it does not come with a wall wart, but I am using just a, a standard Apple wall wart. That'll work just fine. Um, but once you plug it in, there is a charge indicator that will light up here. As you can see, my game is fully charged. It's showing up in green. Otherwise, it would show up in red if it's charging or depleted. There's also a volume control back here uh, that you can raise and lower the volume with and a power button. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and press the power button. It is a latching type power button and that will turn the game on. It takes a couple of seconds for it to boot up. I'm gonna go ahead and also plug this controller in because I haven't tested that yet. 
And as you can see, the machine's coming to life with the New Wave logo and the Replicate amusements. And so it's booting up for the first time. And as you can see, it's got a beautifully, beautifully backlit marquee. And she's ready to go. It's saying to insert coin. So as it says before, um, press up to insert coin. Each time you press up, you'll notice that a credit appears on the screen here. Okay, and then you can press at that point, you can press the one player or two player buttons to get started. So I'm gonna press the one player button. Playing this one handed, so uh, kind of bear with me here. I'm using one finger for both. But the gameplay seems pretty fluid and really, really nice. Kind of much like, I mean, the controls are very, very responsive. I am very happy with the way this plays. You have your loop button, which allows the plane to loop. So I'm going to press the rocker down button, which will enable the, I think it puts the pauses it while you're playing the game. It actually pauses it while you're playing the game, so I'm not quite sure now that we're in gameplay how to access the menu rather than turning it off and turning it back on again. But I'm gonna go ahead and deplete my lives here. Get into a game over state here. And I'll press the rocker down button to see if we can get into the menu now. And it's pausing again, so. That's kind of glitchy. Um, just hoping to be able to get out of this section here. And um, let's see. How do we get to the menu when we are in gameplay mode? Okay, so after a little trial and error, it seems only like you can only access the menu after the game is booted for the first time. Once you've gone into the gameplay, that rocker down feature becomes a pause button so um yeah that's not all that great i tried pressing and holding it to try to get in the menu as well but that didn't work so i booted the game down booted it back up and that's what happened so um this additional sticker came with the game too i kind of popped it here i'm not quite sure where it went on the original game but they did include this as well which i thought was really cool um the coin door is absolutely stunning it's kind of like a gold plated uh, gold plated um, face plate there which looks absolutely amazing I mean they they just they just hit it out of the park with this cabinet I've got all their other uh, releases to date and this one is really absolutely nice and the, the form factor is really it's gonna look great with the rest of my um, with the rest of my games but anyhow um, here is the menu and as you can see you've got game selection press any action button. So I'm gonna press an action button. So there you go. You can change from 1942 to 1943 or return. Um, you also have your difficulties, normal, difficult, very difficult. I will not be playing in that mode because I suck games most often than not. I'm gonna have it in the easy mode and then a marquee light. Um, you could have the marquee light either on or off and if you toggle it off, the light will turn off and on. You also have a backlight, so you can adjust the screen's backlight, which is really nice, nice feature. You can save on the battery life a little bit if you lower the screen brightness. And so you have your player one, player two switches. Not sure why you would turn that on or off, but I want mine to be on for player one, player two switch. And replicate scan lines, wow. So we have also the capability of turning on some scan lines to make it look a little more arcadey uh, and a little pixelated, like the real thing. Um, LCD screens kind of take that away from you. Um, so heck, we can start with five lives instead of three. I like that, I will put it on five. And then we have bonus lives. Um, Right now it's set for 20K, 80K, and I can't see what that says. 20K, 80K, 80K plus 
So, and you can change that. And it looks like, yeah, 20, 100, 100. So we'll just leave it at the lowest. So I am gonna try, since we've already um, played 1942, I am gonna try playing 1943. We're gonna select that. And we'll see, there it goes. It's loading up 1943. And I wanna try this little controller and see. Yeah, that is. So there are buttons at the top here as well. So that's your coin button. And I think that's your one player start button. Or maybe not. No, that gets you in the menu. How about that? So that button works to access the menu, unlike this rocker switch in the front. So if you've got your controller plugged in, no matter whether you're in gameplay mode or not, you can press this button and it gets you into the menu. I like that. Okay, cool. So we are going to press the start button and we're gonna try the controller this time. It's got a nice little bat style controller, kind of like the Street Fighter one. And it's got your A and B buttons, which I'd imagine are fire and loop. Again, I am playing one-handed because I, uh, I have nothing to hold my phone with actually. So that's what I'm making this video with. So as you can see, we have some scan lines going on. Looks really, really cool. I really like that effect. It makes it look more like an, uh, a CRT screen as opposed to a LCD screen, which is what it is. So anyhow, there's your volume control. It gets pretty loud. It gets loud enough to uh, loud enough to be annoying, I guess. So anyhow. All in all, I am absolutely and utterly satisfied with my purchase. I am so happy it's here. Um, I got a couple of other pre-order items that I'm waiting on from Replicades, patiently waiting for. Um, one of which is the their introductory boombox project, which is the M90 Mini. And I also pre-ordered the, um, the Qbert Replicade, which I am dying for. It's one of my favorite arcade games of all times. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you liked this content, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell. It's a notification icon that will alert you when I come out with some new videos. Anyhow, my content is arcades, boom boxes, anything retro really, and my cars. I love cars, so there'll be um, automotive content on here as well, whether it be car shows or other uh, car-related content. Thank you for watching.